everyone. Yes, yes. My name is Darena and I'm the marketing director of Viber for the region of Central and Eastern Europe, including Greece. Greece is one of my favorite markets. I've been many, many times um, to Athens, also to the islands. Uh, it's, it's great in every season and it's great in, in many other aspects. Um, I'm very happy that I have the opportunity to spend the next minutes with you talking about mobile communication, what was happened, what have we learned from the crisis, what were the steps that Viber took before, during and after the lockdown in Greece in this uh, pretty unexpected and, and challenging situation that we were all um, put in, into. Um, thank you, ThinkBiz, for the opportunity to have this small talk to today together with you. I hope that it doesn't feel weird and is as if I'm talking to myself. I prefer to, to be talking to many people and to see their faces. And I really hope to be able to come to, to Greece in the next months and be able to speak in front of the Greek audience. In the meantime, you know, because of technology, we have the chance to do it virtually now. And here I've, uh, I've gathered a couple of questions from partners uh, and, and friends in Greece so that maybe I can just um, navigate through them and it will uh, help me present um, what I want to share with you. So I'm very happy to say that we're very flexible at Viber. It's not that we don't have plans and we don't have strategy, but overall we are very agile. And this, this entire crisis just proved that it's very important to be able to respond very quickly to any situation. And you know, our policy and our um, main uh, driver was all, always to be close to the people and to be he helpful for the people to stay in touch, to be able to communicate freely and securely with um, the people who matter for them the most, with their friends and family, but also to be able to collaborate effectively uh, through uh, our application, to be able to organize the daily routine through the capabilities of Viber um, as a platform, to be able to have access to services uh, and, and businesses online. So this entire crisis uh, made it possible for us to test the capabilities of the platform. And we are very happy that we managed to secure a seamless experience uh, despite the huge overload that, that we had. Um, and also, you know, it just proved that what we're doing is valuable for the users, that it makes much of a sense for the people to use our application uh, in the challenging times, but also after the lockdown was over to continue in the new um, normality, in the, the new reality that, that we're living in. What happened during the crisis was that we saw uh, really big spikes in most of our key performance indicators, starting from the number of uh, users using the, the application through the time they spend online. You know, actually, this is a global trend and, and this is relevant for um, the, device, the, the mobile usage in general. There is um, a very big increase in the times in the time people spend using their devices. Your mobile device is your best friend now. Your biggest fear is that you can get out of battery or that uh, someone can steal your phone. It's much more valuable than, than money, than your car maybe, than, than many other um, tools that, that you use and many other devices. So what we saw was a 370% increase, for example, in the uh, amount of group uh, audio calls performed through our platform. You know, two months ago, um, the, this feature was open and available for five people simultaneously. Then we expanded this as a reaction to the increased demand over the crisis. People felt they need to stay in touch more. 
uh, because there were physical limitations to do so in person. So we expanded it from five to 10 and then almost over a week to 20 users at the same time. And the results followed. In general, there was more than 100% uh, percent increase in the group messages as well. The communities opened were much more. Uh, the increase was, again, very, very significant. We also saw an increase in desktop usage. For a lot of households, it was very challenging to find a balance between the number of devices that they're having at home. So, you know, imagine you have the mother, the father and two kids, and they are all competing for getting a device for a remote uh, education when it comes to the kids, for staying in touch with friends and continue having a normal social life, for getting information around what's happening around, what are the new norms, what are we allowed to do, what we are not allowed to do. And of course, for the parents to continue working remotely, performing their professional uh, activities in a normal and effective way. So. For all these um, activities, for all these different needs, Viber was there uh, during the, the period of lo lockdown. And of course, we are now looking forward to the period that, that is to come and the new reality and, and the new normality that we will uh, live in. Uh, we just announced that we are launching group video calls that are really uh, going to to change the way people uh, use the video calling for their daily routine. So imagine now with this work from home tendency that, that is here to stay. For a lot of people, this will be the new normal uh, for many, many uh, months probably. So through the video calls that will be available again for up to 20 people, these people will be able to have their uh, Monday planning meetings. They will be able to run presentations. They will be able to share their screens with their team. Uh, speaking from my perspective, I will gladly do, do this. And this is a product that, that we waited uh, really eagerly to, to have. And we are very, very happy that it's going to, to be live uh, very soon. Uh, it will be also great for people who are somehow uh, content creators for, for people who lead other people to do things. For example, if you have a yoga teacher or a, a cooking class that someone is, um, is leading, or you have sports and um, language courses, it will be very, very easy to use Viber for, for this kind of uh, activities. Um, what else? Uh, maybe it's t the time to, to say that, you know, um, it, it's very important for us to be a go-to uh, app for users in, in times when they're searching for, for something more. When they're searching for more information, people went to us, us seeking for channels where they can get timely um, news and to, to get information in their local language, in, in Greek language, about the situation every every single minute to, to understand if there is any threat for, for them physically, for their health, or if there is a way that they can help their community, or uh, if there's something that, that's coming from the regulators that they need to know, how can they travel, can they travel or not, uh, can they meet with other people or not. And in, in these times, uh, we were very um, quickly approaching various partners, various institutions, starting from the World Health Organization. Uh, and, you know, we launched together a chatbot uh, fighting misinformation, which is a huge issue globally. Uh, we launched this chatbot in Greek language as well. We also partner with the Red Cross. Um, again, opening communities in many markets where they provide timely information. We also turn to the Greek government and here is the moment to say how thankful we are for the community that they opened. Uh, they, they proved to be very digital, very open and really 
thinking about the the people on the ground. So in their community, they are talking to 400,000 people daily, giving advices, uh, providing uh, on-time information and helping them to adapt to, to the new normality that we are living uh, in. So uh, big things. And I think that these are examples that really bring value and they prove um, first of all, the the existence of uh, our platform, but, but also they come in times of need for, for the users and they really make a difference. Um, we do have, of course, a lot of other partners worth mentioning on the Greek market. Um, just among a uh, few of them uh, is Eleni Petrowaki. You know, she has her community. She's um, giving uh, training uh, advices, how to stay fit, how to stay in shape uh, and in, in good overall condition. Uh, we work with a lot of media partners on the ground. Um, here, maybe I can just mention Olive Magazine that they're also having uh, a newly launched community doing very well on our platform and a couple of other uh, media houses that, that we are collaborating with. We're looking forward having more content creators and having more community managers to uh, demonstrate the, the capabilities of our platform. We're working towards enhanced uh, methods for um, e-learning and uh, um, distance education so that you know not only for the summer period when uh, kids are not um, going to to school but performing mostly you know classes language classes keeping up with the activities that they will have for the next year but we're thinking how we can um, how we can make a viral better uh, suitable for the teachers to to help them organize classes, to help them organize school activities, to help them improve their communication with the parents, um, to to really bring in more, more, more value for them. That was a long answer for the question. So maybe we have just one more. Um, yeah, people started using Viber more frequently, spending more time in it, um, more people joined in and the group conversations grew uh, really quickly and this is a trend that we believe will stay. What made me proud is that we proved that people uh, can, can rely on us in tough times, of course, like in the times when um, they need to stay informed, uh, but also in times when they need to organize their lives in the new digital reality. We are there for them. It's quick, it's uh, easy, uh, it's free of charge to use Viber, and it really makes uh, remote functioning possible. It, it helps families stay together, it helps friends keep in touch. It helps teams to continue working no matter where they are. And, you know, we really proved to to be there for, for the users. And uh, I'm more than thankful. I can't thank enough my team working 24 seven so that we can all make this possible. You know, maybe the crisis are the best teacher. It's uh, not a black and white situation. We've learned that Technology can help uh, people despite the challenges in the real physical world that we can do many more things online and feel more connected than uh, isolated in this new reality. We learned that the world is smaller than ever and we learned that, that we can and that it's whenever there is a good will, we can do, we can do the impossible possible and we can learn to do it together and to make great things together. Thank you. Hope it was interesting for you. Uh, let's, let's keep in touch and hope to see you soon in Greece.